Good morning, students. Today we are going to do part two of the chapter Feeding Habits of Animals. Before we begin, let's know the learning outcomes. So, in this lesson, you will be able to define the term herbivorous, carnivorous, and omnivorous animals, and then you will also be able to give the examples. You will also be uh, able to give the examples of swallowing animals, chewing the cud animals, animals that tear the flesh of other animals, gnawing animals and sucking animals. You will also familiarize with the teeth structure of these animals. Then also understand the process of chewing the cud and list the food which we get from poultry birds and farm animals and identify the ways of taking care of domestic animals. So, on the basis of what animals eat, they are divided into three categories. Those who eat plants are called as herbivorous. Those who eat flesh are called as carnivorous. Those who eat plant parts and flesh of other animals are called omnivorous animals. Herbivorous animals. Herba means green plants and porous means eaters. So, the animals which eat grass or leaves or parts of the plant are called as herbivorous animals. Here is the definition for herbivorous animals. So, the animals that eat parts of the plant, which parts? They can be leaves, stem, fruit, seeds, nut, flowers, etc. are called as the herbivorous animals. Cow, rhinoceros, chimpanzee, zebra, horse, gorilla are examples of few herbivorous animals. Now let's do the second category, carnivorous animals. Carni means meat or flesh. Vorous means eaters. So the animals which eat flesh and bones or organs or flesh itself or bones of other animals are called as carnivorous animals. Okay, the animals can be living or dead. These are the examples of few carnivorous animals like snake, lion, tiger, leopard, ladybird beetle, eagle, crocodile, fox etc. Now let's do the third category that is omnivorous animals. Omni means all or everything and vorous means again eaters. So the animals which eat either the parts of the plant and they can also eat flesh of animals are called as omnivorous animals. Animals that eat flesh of other animals and parts of a plant are called as omnivorous animals. For example, bear, crow, rat, gorilla, raccoon, panda, etc. Also, humans are also omnivorous animals because humans can eat all the parts of the plant and they eat meat also. Now, different animals eat different types of food. Right? And the kind of food they eat depend upon the shape of their mouth, their jaws and their teeth. Hmm? See, herbivores have got flat teeth. Carnivores have got pointed teeth. And omnivores have got pointed teeth and flat teeth both in their mouth. Now let's do the animals which swallow their food. First of all, let's know what is the meaning of swallow. Swallow means that you just take in the food without biting it or chewing it. So the animals like frog, lizard, snake, they do not bite, right, or chew the food because they don't, they don't have teeth, right? So they just catch the uh, prey and then they just swallow it with help of their sticky tongue. Okay, look here. In the mouth of the frog or the snake, there are no teeth. They just open their mouth and they just put the 
their prey inside their mouth and swallow it just like the way you uh, take water now the snake can open its mouth very wide to swallow its prey it can swallow the animals bigger than its own size right bigger than the snake's mouth also look here a snake has a python has swallowed some big animal it can swallow a bear also right so a snake can eat the animals which are bigger than their own size but what about the birds yes birds also swallow their food as they do not have teeth right but the birds break their food into small pieces with the help of their beaks they break it into smaller pieces with the beak and then they swallow the same food there are some animals which tear their food tear means they just uh, take out the flesh out of the other animal so this is called as tearing like the way you tear paper they tear the skin of other animal and the animals like lion tiger cheetah dog fox cat etc they first tear the flesh of other animal with their sharp and pointed curved front teeth then they chew it grind it and then they eat that flesh right just like i told you they have got strong grinding teeth at the back to chew the food look at the type of teeth a dog or a lion or a leopard has see these type of teeth they help them to chew the flesh they have got strong grinding teeth at the back now what about crocodiles hmm? the crocodiles and the alligators you know they have got very large mouth and they have got sharp and pointed teeth also they snap and catch the animals which come near for drinking water look here how the crocodile or the alligator snap their mouth to catch the prey and they have got such powerful jaws these are the jaws okay such powerful jaws that they can grab even the bigger animals and they can eat it too there are some cute animals which gnaw their food what is gnaw no mean to bite the food into small small bites right with the front teeth so the animals like squirrel rat or rabbit they first nibble their food right with their front chisel like teeth these are the chisel like teeth these type of teeth which is there in your mouth also these teeth they help to bite the food into very small pieces and such animals which use their front two teeth like those chisel type of teeth to bite the food are called as gnawing animals these gnawing animals like cat squirrel rat they uh, bite the hard and rough grains or nuts with their chisel like teeth so these animals these three animals are known as gnawing animals well there are some animals which chew the cud okay animals like cow buffalo right they first nibble their food they uh, they just nibble that food and put that food inside their body it is in their mouth in their stomach right right they just swallow it right and afterwards when they are relaxing first they just take the food and put it directly in their stomach it goes direct and when they are relaxing they bring back a part of the food right apne stomach se they bring it back to the mouth and then they start chewing it properly this process to bring back the food from the stomach to the mouth to chew it very nicely and properly this process is called as rumination or chewing the cud okay so now you know animals like cow buffalo camel uh, and even giraffe chew the cud look here these type of animals which chew the cud have got very strong broad back teeth 
to chew the plant parts have a very close look at the uh, teeth of the cow see they are flat they are broad and this picture shows the inside of their mouth see the flat teeth inside and broad teeth this type of teeth helps them to chew the plant parts also elephants you know are herbivorous animals and elephants use their trunk to pluck the leaves or the branches of the tree elephants also use their trunk to push the uh, food inside their mouth also as i have shown you this picture earlier also they have got these flat teeth inside their mouth to grind and chew the food elephants also use their trunk for drinking water or you can say sucking water sometimes elephants are so playful they just keep on throwing the water uh, on their back so elephants use their trunk for drinking or sucking water now how does a deer or a giraffe have its food giraffe is such a tall animal how does it have its food so animals like deer and giraffe they eat grass and leaves they have got flat broad and sharp front teeth to cut the grass and grooved teeth just like the teeth you have at your back grooved teeth to chew the plant parts some animals like butterfly mosquito and leech they have got hollow tube inside their mouth okay there is a straw like thing in their mouth look here in this picture this there is a straw like thing in their mouth and this is called as the proboscis this straw or a tube like structure helps the mosquito or the leech or the butterfly to suck the food okay now remember the food of the butterfly is nectar of the flowers right see here the butterfly is sucking nectar from the flowers and mosquito and leech they suck blood from the human body and you know when the mosquito sucks blood it says thank you after some time and then it gives you a big itch on the skin the red spot and itch on the skin there are some animals which lap their food what mean what is the meaning of lap lap means that they eat or drink with the their tongue okay this method is called as lapping they drink the food material with their tongue with their rough tongue okay all your pet animals like cat and dog specially lap the food now on the basis of their feeding habits let's classify them one more time so there are six categories swallowing food animals which swallow food like frog lizard snake sucking food we like mosquito lizard uh, sorry like mosquito and butterfly leech chewing the cud like cow and camel buffalo etc tearing food examples can be um, lion or tiger or dog gnawing food and animals like rabbit squirrel and uh, rat etc lapping food like cat and dog so these are the few of the uh, ways uh, by which the animals eat their food now let's know how to take care of our domestic animals right they see children animals which live in the wild or in the forest they can take care of themselves but the domestic animals they need our help and care no these animals give us so many things right like we get milk from cow and buffalo if we get such thing then we need to give them green fodder or grains and lots of water to them right then we get uh, eggs and meat from poultry animals like hen duck and goose and what we have to do in return we have to feed them with grains like grains can be grains of wheat grains or rice or corn and give them lots of water we get uh, see the cows and the buffalo and the camel etc are used for farming 
so how do we take care of them that uh, we give them clean shelter and we do not overload them with work this way both are satisfied also horse and donkey buffaloes are used to carry people and load see here the donkey is carrying person also and the load also horse is carrying this person horse is carrying this load similarly buffalo is used in farming buffalo uh, its cart is used for taking people to places so these animals they are useful to carry people and load so we should take care of our pets we should not overload them now our domestic animals they need our love and care how do we take care of them see domestic animals they need our help and care and the shelter of these animals should be clean and dry pet animals like cat and dog should be protected from hot and cold weather sick animals should be kept separate from the healthy ones and the sick animals should be treated by the veterinary doctor okay what is who is a veterinary doctor a doctor of animals is veterinary doctor so let's revise one more time so herbivorous animals eat plant parts carnivorous animals eat fresh animals omnivorous animals eat parts of the plant and flesh of animals animals like frog snake lizard birds swallow their food they do not have teeth cow buffalo camel giraffe chew the cud lion cat tiger fox dog have sharp pointed front teeth and grinding teeth at the back to tear and chew the flesh rabbit squirrel rat have chisel like teeth to bite nuts and they are called gnawing animals butterfly sucks the nectar from the flowers mosquito and leech suck the blood from human body hen goose duck are poultry animals they give us meat and eggs we get milk from cow buffalo camel and goat also we should take care of our pet animals and the sick animals should be taken to the veterinary doctor with this we end our today's chapter just revise the chapter one more time go through the video again and enjoy learning goodbye